Remo is literally holding no jumper down. Like, without Remo, no jumper goes down. No jumper it fades into the abyss. Shout out Flacco. Shout out Lush. But literally, without Remo, without Remo doing these interviews, without Remo holding down these interviews, there's no no jumper. And it's sad to say that the platform that I've watched growing up, the platform that's inspired me to create my own platform, has failed. And why has it failed? No other reason than bad leadership. Yeah, bad leadership. And no one wants to speak out about it. Remo can't speak out about it. He got to get his chili and ride on Sunset in that big body bins. I respect it. You know, Bass Pros Bros. But the fact that Remo is the whole reason why no jumper is staying afloat right now is wild wild I, i'm telling you nobody's clicking for that porno shit anymore that shit faded to the abyss nobody care about that you can't sell your wife off on a show anymore you can't bring brick baby uh, i mean uh four extras and crit mac and make a show about who gets lena we don't care about that no more we were shocked once okay wow adam's about to let somebody crack his wife okay he's, this is the seven type now okay fine cool wow big deal big deal when are you as a content creator when are you as a leader when is you as somebody with a huge platform when are you going to go back to creating dope content when are you going to go back to having substance when are you going to go back to platforming people to having dope interviews this is fucking crazy that you haven't realized and you don't have enough self-awareness to say damn i am the ceo of a failing company that will do anything for a boost in ratings and views you were once the home of dope interviews you were once the home of dope artists and hip-hop now you are a joke when hip-hop the general consensus of adam 22 is the man who lets somebody sleep with his wife and the person who does bunk shit on the on the uh, no jumper platform everyone knows when you see a no jumper title just take it at a uh, uh, at surface level you don't know if it's scripted you don't know what's going on this was once a platform xxn uh, xxs rest in peace little peep all of these historic people that made an impact on hip-hop these were the type of people you were rubbing shoulders with and now you rub shoulders with a junkie somebody who who nods off all stream imagine you platformed and you gave an interview and you developed a podcaster in year three that still nods off on long format content let's talk about bad leadership let's talk about the fact that you have a rotating cast every few months let's talk about the fact that you haven't had loyal like why is it that people can't be loyal to you is it a reflection of the fact that you can't be loyal to people hmm because for someone who's covered no jumper for someone who has a thousands of videos out on no jumper it is sad to see what you have allowed the platform to become it is sad to see that you have chose clout you have chose phoniness you have chose you have chose this content over everything and you have lost the you you've lost the channel you've lost the whole generation you've lost the whole generation adam and you know it and you know it you know you've lost the whole generation there was once a generation my generation that looked up to you like you was the man like wow this guy's platforming art this guy's giving people an opportunity like he's giving jobs out like he's like his his employees have great jobs their podcasts on a big platform to get like my my generation looked to you as like a boy now you're a weirdo bro i have to fucking explain why i'm i'm, I'm a, an, an adam 22 supporter I have to explain why I, I rock with no jumper. I have to explain that. No, 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 chill. He, it's not the, the, he, he sleep with his wife. Like, all that stuff, bro, that's his business. Like, Adam, bro, that's my boy. Why do you cool it? I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, bro. And then you get to ask the question, why don't no jumper, why does Joe Budden, the pod father, why does he think you're a goof troop? Why does Ish think you're a goof troop? Why does Ice think you're a goof troop? Charlemagne, DJ Ack. You know? So when you say I can't have an opinion on you, my nigga, who, who like don't let the money get to your head, fam. But you already did. You already did. Like it's it's to the point where you gotta think about it. I was the last person in this universe that was gonna glaze you to you know what I mean? Pause. But I was the last person, like, nah, this nigga sent me that. But the minute you did that Kev shit, I said, Oh, you're a weird ass nigga. You are not like you no. I don't go for shit like that. Not the new MJ, not this brand, the one who's cultivated and, and, and made opportunities and, and positioned people. No, I'm not going to go for that. You say something about the brand, I'm going to say something about you. You know what I mean? I'm going to say something about your brand. So, it's, it's like, no jumper's finished. No jumper's cooked. Cooked. 
what there's nothing you could do to revive that channel the only thing you could do with no jumper is possibly if me and flaco have our own show and debate that's it i'm not going that's it that's the only fucking thing besides remo holding it down lush giving us some hip-hop insight that's it I'm not watching nobody nod off. I'm tired of hearing six-so game banging stuff. You literally let game bangers ruin the entire LA podcasting space for protection. And the day Ruga came, you had no protection. <laughs> Nigga said, "You want to snow? You want to do a snowboard? You want to do like go out there and snowboard challenge?" What type of nigga is you? And then you want to woof? That's the shit that bugged me and made me realize you's a bitch. Like, like. You woofed at that nigga. You said, bro, you got to show me the shit that you got to do. None of that shit matter. Then he said, calmly, peacefully. You know, like, we ain't got to do, like, I don't. Okay, bet. You want to step outside? No, I don't want to fight. I'm not a fighter. Shut your bitch ass up then. And don't speak about people running. Don't do none of that. Because then when somebody speaks about you, you want to block them, act like a little bitch. At 30-something years old. You want to act like a little bitch. For real, though. I could say that because how many videos do I have of me... Pushing you in the right light and then covering the, the weird ass shit you've done. Yeah, I can say some shit about you too, man. Weird ass shit. Huh? Sad, bro. It, it affects me because, nigga, look at this is from No Jumper. I learned this from him and Joe Budden and all this shit. So when you find out the nigga that you're admiring, the nigga that you're like looking up to is a buster, weird ass nigga, imagine how it makes you. I must be a weird nigga, bro. Like, I gotta be, bro. You are what you follow. So that's why I'm like, nah, bro. It ain't no way. You, you, you will never just, what law he, bro, as I continue to grow in this space, as I put my faith in the law, I will not allow anything or anyone, family, friends, or anything to speak on this brand without any repercussion, without no recourse, discourse, whatever, with, no. No. No, nobody knows what the fuck I endured in that car. Nobody knows the years, the days, what them days used to look like to me. You know? Nobody knows that. So, yeah, man. Next time, hopefully, if you want to react to a protest I do or if you want to do anything of that nature, just be respectful. Just be respectful. Like, I've been respectful. But I've defended you about some weird stuff. Weird stuff. I'm not even going to get into. You couldn't... Hold on, bro. Bule Kev. Here, yeah, he right, bro. He did an interview with you and repurposed that into 18 different promotional clips for artists. He might have a point. He's showcased and highlighted over 300 different Arizona artists. He put Arizona artists on. Hold on, bro. You ain't do none of that shit. Broke my heart. Like, this the nigga I done told niggas. Like, yeah, no, Adam's my boy. This nigga ain't even. Nah, nigga. Nah, bro. You know, Don't expect Lloyd. How? Nah, bro. I'm just dumb, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was dumb. That's what I was. I was young and dumb. I turned 25 this year. I I take accountability, but I was just young and dumb, bro. Young and dumb. I'm not dumb anymore, though, bro.